All right, guys, I was so excited. I have to do this right away. I cannot believe what I am seeing. Here are the finished resin pieces from the last two videos. Would help if you weren't zoomed in all the way. I hope that is picking up on the camera because they are bonkers. That's what the sides look like, all nice and clean. The underneath. <gasps> Wait till you see this one. I did two of these. Gosh, I really hope you're seeing this. Okay, is that one? And here is one you did not see. Actually, no, this one you did see yesterday. It was the other one you did not see that I did off screen. Look at that. Come on. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's make one more, shall we? Shall we? Just in case you guys didn't see. <laughs> I want to make sure that your seat, you saw this outside. I couldn't see in the camera, so. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Look at that, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do these the stress-free way for somebody that is still having problems with blooms. This is going to be the video for you. We're going to throw all measurements out the window. We're going to throw it all out the window. Very, very simple. I am able to produce that kind of effect with two different products. We could either use the Vivid Enamel with polycrylic, or we can use an untinted house paint, okay? This is the brand I use, or I'll show you the other one. This one. This is the one I'm using today. I can't tip it to the side because it will spill out. So, either the anil with polycrylic are the two ingredients you need to make your own pouring medium, or the house paints. Now, I am telling you, you can get this to work, no measuring, no nothing. I think everybody's just stressed out with that part of it, and here we go. Let me show you something. I have the can of untinted house paint. Untinted means that you just grabbed it off the shelf and didn't have them put the color in for you. That's all it means. I'm going to use this today and not the enamel because I have plenty of videos with the enamel and not everybody has access to that. You can buy it, but a lot of people may not want to do that. So we're going to use the house paint for this one. Okay, so let's just scoop some in there. Let's not worry about how much is in there, okay? Here is some polycrylic that is in a cup for easier serving here. I'm going to pour a little tiny bit in to start. I'm going to mix it around. And the consistency you're looking for is a thick but flowing cons consistency. And I'm only going to do one, one color to show you because they're all going to be the same. So that is a pretty good consistency. You don't have to have it that thick, though. We can go a little bit thinner if you want. Okay. 
I just want to try to make this as simple and, and easy as possible. So that's really good right there. That's a perfect consistency. Flows off the stick. It leaves a nice thick mound on the top. And you saw I didn't measure, right? So now I need to make a color out of that. So I'll take a little bit of tube paint, which I have here conveniently ready. And I'll scrape eh, a pea size amount in there. I'm going to get this out of here to reuse it for the next color. And now I'm going to mix it in. So you'll see the stark contrast in color, right? That just needs means we need to add some more. So add a little bit at a time until you get to the right color, the right consistency. And you have to remember this does, even though it's untinted, there is technically a tiny, tiny bit of white in there. So it will lighten the colors on you, but you can go ahead and keep adding a little bit at a time until you get the color that you want. Now, unfortunately though, while you're doing this, you're making your paste thicker and thicker because you're adding more body to it with that. Here, we're just going to switch sticks at this point because I guess I'm going to be using it all. You're making your, your mixture thicker and thicker from adding that paint in there. You're adding more body to it. So what I do is I just add a little more polycrylic to thin it back out. You can also add a little drop of water if you want and thin it out. Either will work. I tend to just stick with the polycrylic and just keep the water out of it totally. That's just me. Okay, see now it's really, really thick again. So we'll just keep adding a little bit of water until we get it where we want it to be. So you're going to see now I did not measure. I did not fret over how much I used of what I just put some of each product in there and mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up one interference color with you right now really quickly we're going to put this to the side for now i'm going to leave that just like that for now and i'm going to mix up an, inter an interference now you don't need much that's way too much. But I put the lids on and I save them. So here's the violet interference violet pearl from Color Art. I'm going to put a scoop of that in there. I'm going to add a little bit of the polycrylic in. Again, not measuring. I don't know, maybe this way will help people because I know measuring, there's still a ton of people having problems. So it doesn't get any easier than this. So now here's, this is the perfect consistency, right? We got that one, the perfect consistency. But now this one's thicker. What do we do? We have to keep working on this one and adding either more polycrylic or more water to it until it matches the other one. And I'm not going to make you watch all of this because it's going to take me a second or two to get that right. But when I'm ready, I will be back. 
So somebody asked me what the difference is between the Blingit Interference Colors and the Blingit Sparkles. So here is a Blingit Interference. They're very hard to see because they are an interference color that really, really show up on dark backgrounds. You can see it a little bit here in the cup, but you really can't see much of it. Um, so this will make your paint into a color shift paint, whereas the Bling It Sparkle colors, you can see it almost adds like a glitter to your paint. This is a red sparkle. So let's just mix these together here. And you probably won't be able to see it on the can on this camera, but there is a red sparkle in that now. Very, very hard to see on film. So we have our colors mixed up, right? Now it comes time for our cell activator. So here is some American Flow Troll. I want to make a hmm what do I want to make let's make a fluorescent magenta cell activator how about that I am going to try some of this Blick fluorescent violet okay so I just put some of that in the cup now I have been having su success with all colors where the cell activator is concerned. The only problem that I have is when it comes to a white cell activator. Amsterdam is the only one I personally, with my recipe, can get to work. So here's what I'll do. I'll pour a little bit of Floetrol in, mix it. That was a tablespoon of paint, by the way. And I'll keep adding the flow trial slowly until I reach about the same consistency as my other paints, which is pretty thick. So that's the important thing. Consistency. That's too thick though. So we'll keep adding a little bit at a time. And that's about the same. But now I'm kind of double guessing this and thinking I want to use, I have some fluorescent red here that I may use instead. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you how to mix it anyway. So that's how I make the cell activator, the pillow paint or the base white paint that goes down first. I pour it right out of the can into a cup. If it's way thicker than my paints, which Walmart color place, semi-gloss white paint is not for me, then I would add water. But mine is perfect to go along with these thick paints. This is a color, by the way, called Cranberry from Color Art. It's a primary elements color. And then for the Blingit line, also sold by Color Art, description has the link and a coupon code for 20% off. I have the Gold Interference. I have the red interference, not that you can see them yet, and I have a violet interference and red sparkle, okay? I'll make my mind up on that cell activator after. You saw me mix up this Blick color, which was la, 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 quinacridone violet. So here we go. I'm going to pour on another one of those panels and I am working on getting a coupon code for you guys for these. I absolutely love them. Absolutely, absolutely love them. So we're going to set it down on top of a little paint can lid and we're going to pour our white paint right onto the canvas. Hopefully I have enough left in the cup. 
hopefully. Yeah, I might be cutting it close here. Things have changed since this recipe first came out. At first we were putting um, little puddles of white and then stretching them out. Now I'm just covering the whole top. You see there, when a, when a technique gets released, at first it's that way or no way, but then people find easier ways to do things and it's just easier this way. So I'm just going to stretch this out to make sure that there's going to be enough paint to cover the top of this, which there will be. And I hope there will be. And I'm just going to switch my, there's a couple of resin drops on that and it's making it wobbly. There we go. All right. So first things first, we're going to put down our opaque color first. So that's going to be the violet. You need to have an opaque color for this to work the right way. There's the violet. Let me make these a little bit bigger. I don't know. I'm really jonesing to try that uh, neon red with this. I mean, worst case scenario, I can always scrape it, right? Next, I'm going to put down the primary elements cranberry. Gorgeous, gorgeous color like a deep wine color see now this I'm feeling is a little too thick so I'm going to take just a little more polycrylic and I'm going to mix that in now let me just say this I prefer using the vivid enamel I'm only doing this because uh, not everybody has access to that um, I prefer it because it is, even though this is an untinted house paint, like I told you, there is a little tiny bit of white in it. So it kind of um, takes away a tiny, tiny bit of the natural color and what it should look like. Whereas the enamel, it doesn't do that because it's totally clear. So that is why I like that. So I'm going to put down the interference red first. I believe that's what it is. I think they just thickened a little bit while I was talking. Then I'm going to go for the gold. <laughs> I'm going for the gold, people. You can see they're really thick. I could probably thin them out a little tiny bit, but I want to show you that this measuring thing is for the birds. Although it's probably better that you do measure if you're first starting out to get the hang of it. And I have plenty of videos. The one before this has measurements. I will <clears throat> post those measurements in this video too just to be helpful in case you don't want to go back and watch that. And if you could please subscribe to my channel. If you aren't already, I would appreciate that and ring the bell to get notification when videos come out. By the way, I have an announcement to make. I am going to be giving away a Bright Blooms kit. But I will mention that at the end of the video. So. And the only reason why I'll talk about it at the end of the video is because I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video. And I don't want anybody to miss it. So. 
hopefully in the title I'll be able to put announcement at the end of the video <laughs> and not say it right in the middle. Okay, so we got the colors down. What are we going to go for? We're we going to go for the gold here. I'm going for the gold and using the... Oh, but it is a lot thinner. That's the only thing. Well, maybe we could prove that consistency, a slight consistency difference doesn't matter if we do this. I know everybody's probably thinking I'm nuts with these color choices, but hey, it is what it is. Let me zoom you in. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. And I did link this Lazy Susan in my Amazon shop. Now I don't think I'm liking this. We'll see. Okay, let it sit for a second. If you let it sit and your cells are disappearing, you just something is way off. Once those cells come, that means that something's eating it up. Maybe you're you're using the wrong base polycrylic, something's happening. And I'm going to mention this again because it's worth mentioning. Unless you're using my exact products, I can't help you. I, I'm sorry. I don't have the products you're using to know how they work or anything like that. This is a, a recipe that is chemistry based and certain things work together. All of us that took the class spent a long time, months, and a lot of dollars experimenting with different kinds of formulas to finally get it. And all I know is this is what works for me. So if you message me and say, hey, I'm having problems with the bloom. I'm using Valspar paint. This and that. I can't help you because I've never used that. And when you use that with a different pillow paint, this paint right here, with the rest of my ingredients, it just throws it all off. So it's either you use every single thing that I use, or <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends, that there's just nothing I could do. And this is kind of looking cool now. So let's stretch it in. See what happens. If you get cells and then you stretch it and everything disappears, you're stretching wrong. You got to practice. I really just needed to add a little more white paint on here.
Okay. Again, I kind of wait for everything to open up. And I'm not loving it. And those little panels are too expensive to keep something that I don't love. So. What I'm going to do is pause you. We're going to scrape it. I'm going to set up the same exact thing except with the violet. All right, so I'm back again. I scraped it. Did the same exact thing except with violet. Fluoro fluorescent violet. Okay, so here we go. You know what? That one doesn't even look like it's making cells. Hold on. So that color may not work at all. Oh, there goes my hair. <laughs> yeah. And yes, you can use an airbrush. You can use a mini blower. I have a mini blower. I like, there goes my hair again. I like to use my breath on these because I just do. I don't know. But that color, how interesting, is not working as a cell activator. So, here's what we'll do. We have a little bit of Floetrol in the cup still. And, well, they're starting to come a little bit. Let's see, get my straw. Here's what we'll do. We're going to tilt. So that's definitely not working. Fluorescent Blick, no go for me anyway with my products. Let's just stretch here. Got a few cells, but not enough to. Claim sellage. <laughs> so here, we're going to set this down. And then we're going to get some black in there. All right, last shot. Here we go. Same colors again, but with the black, black cell activator. Colored black, okay? And you can see that's working right away. It's just certain colors don't work. And 
it's a trial by error type of thing. I want to make sure I show you the fails too, though, you know? You guys need to see that. <laughs> I'm talking, laughing, blowing. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Okay, while we're waiting for that area to come back up, please go down below, check out my description, the links for the mat with the discount code uh, for the large and jumbo ones, Lole Vefe is there in my Amazon shop. I have this beautiful spinner, which has a rubber type, hard rubber type top. I've placed canvases right on it and they really don't slip around. Um, again, I'm not flinging them at 90 miles an hour or so. Uh, all my social media links are there. My email. I do do commissions. Um, I do do <laughs> uh, commission work. I teach privately in Connecticut. There's uh, my Amazon shop. KS Resin is the resin I promote and endorse because I love it. That's what I used on those pieces. Free shipping in the U.S. Um, now I could tilt while I talk. 70 bucks a gallon. Can't beat it. Plus I have a discount code. Please take advantage of that. This is gorgeous. Uh, PayPal link is down there. If you want to send a donation into the channel. To bring more of these educational videos. And... This is just crazy. <laughs> Do you see the difference between how one color, just one color, that black, I tell you. Oh, this is just gorgeous everywhere. I don't know which way to tilt. I hate when this happens, but we do have to tilt. We can't, it will crack if you leave all of that on there. So I'm going to go nice and slow. Most importantly, I have a Facebook group come on over and say hi it's united we pour with tammy and lisa um a lot of beautiful beautiful people in there and friendly no drama um help if you need help it's all in there everybody's so willing to help it's a great community especially you know for me I have a horrible time with my hands and typing and I have <clears throat> messages, emails, um, messages in the group, messages on my private art page, emails, direct messages, Instagram. I mean, I could literally make a full-time job out of all the stuff that I have to answer. So it helps when members kick in and pitch in and help out it really does and for that i am grateful i just there's only one of me <laughs> this is bananas don't give up people keep trying i'm going to give you a close-up in one second i just have to pop 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 a couple of big air bubbles so if you've been trying this recipe and you're not getting anywhere try just doing what I just did. Just put some stuff in the cup. You know the ingredients that go together. You kind of know how thick or thin it should be. And take it from there. Now, it's going to not look that impressive when you go this way. But well, watch when I come backwards over the piece. Because again, it's color shifting. So here we go. Ready? Now you'll see. We didn't even use purple. Now we have purple. It's 
So again, guys, I thank you. If you ordered an auction piece from me, please be patient. I am working on them. I will get them to you as soon as humanly possible. I love you all. Love, love, love you all. And until next time, my friends. Happy pouring.